Hey, how are you doing? I know many of us woke up this morning under a new reality as we received the notice about stay home and work safe order. Uh, notices like this really can stir up anxiety and fear if we allow them to. And I just had a challenge today for all of us. You probably remember the story of the feeding of the 5,000. I mean, imagine yourself on the lakeside that day with Jesus. You're starving. There's thousands of people everywhere. There's no way any of the local businesses could provide enough food to feed everyone who is seated with us. And Jesus looks at his disciples to see what supplies that they can gather from the crowds. And they come back with this young child who has two fish and some loaves of bread. Now, at first glance, the offering looks a little ridiculous in light of the need that's around him. But God blesses it. And through God's blessing, what seemed to be less than became more than enough. Many people often look at life from a mentality of scarcity. That's the belief that says there's really not enough. There's just a small pie, so I have to fight for what I need. And the alternative is the mindset of abundance. And that's the belief that everything originates from and belongs to God. And so here's the beauty of the story. The provision from the people was completely inadequate and left no room for doubt that God was the source of their provision. And maybe you struggle with the changes, the economic struggles, the hills that seem too high to climb. Listen, you don't have to fear letting go of what you have because provision is not based on what you have. It's based on who you trust. Scarcity is what we're told to think about in the media and taught to believe even as we fight together to flatten the curve during this coronavirus pandemic. There's never been a bigger exercise in trust for all of us. Remember to continue to bring your offerings to God. Live generously towards your neighbors. Lean into your relationship with him. When you learn to trust him in times like this, the growth in your faith will never be taken from you. So let's trust God together fully as you trust him with what you have. I also challenge you to maybe grab a journal or a a thing on your computer and just write your stories down. God's faithfulness will be on display in ways that you never dreamed possible. So my final question for us today, Tuesday, is this. Who do you trust, really? Church, I love you. Uh, Have an incredible afternoon. More to come.